Hello and welcome to Across Louisiana. My name is Steve Sawyer, your host for the program. We've got a great show lined up for you today. Our first guest is Ja Champagne. Ja is the CEO for Dry Tunes Speaker. They were the winners of the Cox Get Started New Orleans Entrepreneur Week contest that we did. Keith Twitchell. Keith is the president for a committee for a better New Orleans. He's got some great information about what that organization does. Chris Roos. Chris is the president of CCA Association of Louisiana. They talk about coastal conservation and you'll want to hear some information they've got to share. Our good friend Kevin Garnier. Kevin is the Executive Director of Development for Bridge House, Grace House. Always got some great things going on. And finally, Christina Lagasse. Christina is our Communications Public Affairs Specialist for Cox, and she's going to be telling you how you can get a free computer. Steve Sawyer, Across Louisiana. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Across Louisiana. We have got an incredible first guest lined up. Ja Champagne is the CEO for Dry Tunes. So glad to see you again. And Thank you. I just want to, real quick, uh, we had an event several weeks ago, Get Started in New Orleans, and uh, it was a pitch contest all tied in uh, to New Orleans Entrepreneur Week. And you guys, you were the CEO for Dry Tunes. You guys were the winner of the Cox Get Started New Orleans events. First of all, congratulations on Thank that. Thank you. Thank you. Hands down, you guys gave the best presentation. The product is incredible. So I don't want to spend a lot of time uh, uh, sending accolades out. So let, let's talk about the product real quick. And then I want to show a quick demonstration because the neat thing about this is exactly what it is, dry tunes. Well, absolutely, and accolades are fine, so don't don't stop <laughs> on that account. Uh, but thank you. This this product is a waterproof uh, premium Bluetooth speaker that is designed uh, inside a waterproof case that is designed to be played closed. And uh, actually, it has over 400 cubic inches of storage space inside. So when you go to the beach or the pool or fishing or boating or whatever, you put your stuff, your wallet, your keys, your your uh, iPhone. It, it links automatically through Bluetooth to your iPhone or your iPad, so you can link it, put the phone inside, latch it closed. It plays through the lid it's closed. Incredible. It's intended to be played closed, and it serves as a dry box to protect all. And your I, I want to tell you a true story. My wife and I were at the beach a couple of weeks ago, and I swear as I sit here, we're, we're sitting there in our chairs and everything, and I got to put my wallet somewhere, my keys. Everything is going in this one bag that's got everything in it from suntan oil to drinks. And I told my wife, I said, my God, I just saw a presentation of something called Dry Tunes. I'd love to have one of those boxes here right now. <laughs> so with that, with that, here's what I want to do. Uh, I'm going to shut the lid. You can see the speakers are right here. This is, yeah, this is a demonstration of the kind of stuff you can put inside the box. I'm going to shut the lid. We're going to lock lid. it. Latch okay. It. Now, I'm going to have you activate it, so to speak. Okay. It's, uh, it's a simple matter of turning on the... Um, we have a, a, a wireless and connection, and it's activated with a magnetic wand. That is so incredible. So you don't have waterproof, to waterproof, totally waterproof. Dust. I mean, any kind of proof you want is right here. And you know, when you're at the beach, you, you want to go in the pool, you want to go in the ocean. You're afraid. What am I going to do with my stuff? So you hide it at the bottom right. of the beach bag, and right. you, you watch right. it from right. the water. Right. This thing, you take it, take with, it with you. Take it with you. All right, floats. real Okay, so we're running out of time. And, and uh, where can I get this? Where can I get one? It's sold online, www.drytunes.com. Uh, it is also sold uh, at, at local area stores, uh, Puglia's, Marsh and Bayou, and Massey Sports. We just uh, retained three sales rep groups, so it's going to be wow, appearing in great. more and more stores around the country. We have distribution around the country now, but primarily in the southeast. Awesome product, and again, congratulations, you guys. You made a, a great presentation with the Get Started New Orleans. I do want to have you guys come back, because I want to spend a little more time going over the product, because uh, the thing that came up that night is other things you can store in there, and you <laughs> got such great well, ideas. I want to see which one it is, because we do it's, have it's that one right there. our New Orleans model. Model, yeah, also that's, the, our, that's the one you can leave behind if you want. Model. <laughs> you know, you'd be surprised how many people want to buy this. It's for demonstration, but they say, well, I want that one. So, <laughs> John, thank you so much for being on the show. And Appreciate again, it. I really want to get you guys to come back on and we can spend more time talking about the product and everything because you are a partner of ours with Get Started in New Orleans. So congratulations on that victory. Congratulations on an incredible product. We'd be happy to come back and we appreciate We'd all the support We'd love to have you come Cox. back. And we'll be right back.
And welcome back to Across Louisiana. Thank you so much for being a part of the show. Very happy to have in the studio Mr. Keith Twitchell. Keith is the president for a wonderful organization, Committee for a Better New Orleans. And Keith, thank you so much for taking time to be a part of the show today. I appreciate it. Pleasure to be here. Committee for a Better New Orleans is an organization that you hear all the time, you hear a lot about. Talk a little bit about, uh, if you will, the, the mission of the organization and, and some successes that you guys have had. Sure. I think you would describe our, our mission is to create the most open, accountable, effective government we can in New Orleans. And our basic premise is that when the community is really informed and engaged mm -hmm. and partnering with government, that's how you get really good government. So we do things like leadership training, we do a lot of community informing work, uh, we work a lot with what we call grass tops leaders, neighborhood leaders, faith leaders, because they can reach their constituencies, so if we can get them engaged, then they reach mm -hmm. a lot of people that we sort of reach then indirectly. And um, underlying all of that, we work really hard to create uh, a formal, permanent, citywide structure for civic engagement in New Orleans so that people can get information about projects and proposals that are going to impact their lives. Then they can come together in a structured setting, discuss them, provide informed input to government right. on a timely basis before the decisions are made. And then they can track how government uses that input. Uh, you're you're not really a watchdog organization, though, are you, or are you? Um, I would say not so much. I think rather we would uh, have the community be trained and informed to be that yeah. watchdog. Okay. If the community is paying attention to government, government will perform better. If the community is informing government, government will make better okay. decisions. Right. That's, that's a good way to put that. So August the 19th, you've got a big event coming up. Let's talk about that. Yeah, we have our, our sixth annual Diana Lewis Citizen Participation Awards. Every year we recognize uh, an individual and an organization that's been a community leader in civic engagement. And of mm -hmm. course, this is in line with our mission to, to inform and engage the community. And we think very broadly in terms of what civic engagement means. So. Last year, for example, we honored Carol Bebel, mm -hmm. who uh, is the, the leader of the Ashe Cultural Center. Mm, and know her well. Probably more responsible than anybody else for the renaissance yep. of Central City and yep. certainly O.C. Haley. And then uh, the Justice and Accountability Project, who is working to make uh, more opportunities for uh, former incarcerated people to vote because yeah. voting is the most fundamental form of citizen participation. Absolutely. Keith, your, your website, before we get to have to go, your website is uh, cbno.org. All information about Committee for Better New Orleans can be found on the website. You can go there, and, and if you want more in, uh, information just about our citizen participation work, there's another site called nolacpp.wordpress.com. Okay. But right. you can get there from the cbno.org okay. site. Keith, thank you again for taking time to be on the show. Greatly My appreciate pleasure. it. Thank you for the work you guys are doing. Stay with us. We'll be right back. And welcome back to Across Louisiana. Thank you so much for being a part of the show. Very happy to have Chris Roos with us. Chris is the president of the CCA of Louisiana. Chris, thank you so much. Uh, CCA of Louisiana, what does that stand for? Thank you very much for having me. Coastal Conservation Association. <laughs> you got it right and I, I, got, it, I, I, got, it, I got it wrong. And I'm actually uh, the president uh, on the volunteer side for the Delta chapter, which is the New Orleans chapter of the CCA. Well, let's talk about, uh, real quick, the CCA. What, what is the mission of the organization, kind of, you know, what you're all about, and some the, success stories that you guys have had? Well, the CCA um, lobbies for the rights of recreational fishermen, and that bleeds into a full national um, fight for whether it's snapper, whether it's populations up the, the East Coast, mm -hmm. um, and basically r for recreational fishermen to have their rights protected by a, an association like CCA and the paid staff who goes around and actually mm -hmm. lobbies, raises money, and educates people on our cause. Uh, so would you have other organizations like this, say in Mississippi, any, any coastal area, they, they have the same sort of organization? I would say every coastal town in the United States has a CCA chapter. Really? Wow, that's incredible. From the West Coast all the way up the East Coast. Well, uh, your website is ccalouisiana.com. Correct. Uh, all information about the organization can be found on that website, even things like if I've got questions about stuff, I can go to the website and find that information. Sure. And how the organization can help me and so forth. There's a lot of information on the website, 
And then CCA also, CCA Louisiana specifically, goes around per everywhere in the state and gives a, a banquet. And it's a membership drive and a fundraiser. And every large city and small city almost mm -hmm. around the state has a chapter and a banquet. You can go on the website, you can call, you can go to a banquet, have fun, and you can learn about what CCA actually does. Then you can go out and you can fish a reef, yeah, that's fish great. on a pier, and actually reach out and touch it. Let's talk real quick before we have to cut away. Star Tournament update. Talk about that real quick. The Star Tournament runs from Memorial Day um, all the way through to uh, July 4th. And the Star Tournament gives away over a half a million dollars in prizes. Wow. And it's a fishing tournament, so to speak, mm -hmm. contest. But the beauty of it is, is CCA releases tagged redfish mm -hmm. and tagged trout. You go out, you catch that first tagged redfish, win a truck. Wow. The nine tagged redfish after that get a boat, motor, and trailer. Wow. There's also a trout division this year where they are giving away boat, motor, and trailer for trout. There's a kids division. So your kid can go out and catch a trout or a flounder, measure it, take a picture of it. Their name gets thrown in the hopper, and they can win as Man, well. That's incredible. And, so and then your, your Delta Banquet comes after, after the tournament? It actually starts just before the tournament. May 27th, okay. we're going to have it at the Southern Yacht Club. It's a great venue. The Delta chapter is one of the real footholds of CCA. Okay. And uh, I'm really proud to be a, a member on the volunteer side to be helping out with that. Chris, they're giving, with they're giving me the wrap it up sign. Okay. So what, again, I just want to point out the website is ccalouisiana.com. All information about the organization and upcoming events can be found on that site. We have a couple more guests. Stay with us. We'll be right back. And welcome back to Across Louisiana. Thank you so much for being a part of the show. It is always a privilege to have Mr. Kevin Gardere on the show. Kevin is the Executive Director of Development for just an incredible organization, Bridge House, Grace House. Kevin, thanks so much for taking time to come in. I know you're busy. You, you, you could have an event a week going on. <laughs> <laughs> we have 11 events throughout the year, so we stay pretty busy. Well, Kevin, I know you got a couple of events coming up, but Bridge House, Grace House, it's so critical to the Metro New Orleans area. Just real quick, give us the mission really of, of the organization. Yeah. We, Bridge House Grace House is a long-term substance abuse treatment facility, residential facility. People live there for the homeless, indigent, uninsured, unemployed. It's really for people who have lost everything and are in need of treatment. And we, you know, we really treat the whole person, not just the addiction, but we provide Absolutely. vocational rehabilitation and they go through three phases and they gradually get more freedom and transition to become productive members of society again. Yeah, and, and look, fundraisers are what it's all about. You need right. money to operate and you've got some good ones coming up here. Women of Substance Abuse is on uh, May the 8th, I believe. May 8th, which Women is of a Substance. phenomenal it, event. It is. Talk about that. Thank you, it's a, it's a great event. We, we're honoring, uh, we honor women that are role models for our residents that are involved in the community. Um, the three women we're on, the theme of this year is New Beginnings, and the three women we're honoring have all created a new beginning for our resident, our female residents. Uh, one is Allie Rouse Royster, and she is one of the Rouses. Oh, so wow. Rouses has been just great in um, reaching out to us and, and hiring right. our individuals when they get a chance That's to go awesome. to that next phase. That's awesome. The other is Seely Stum Howard. Seely Stum is, is one of the founders of Pinkberry. Oh. Pinkberry again had one of our one of their regional managers is a is a Grace House graduate. Yeah. They have they have hired quite a few. And then Walton uh, Vetter Gold Ring who yeah. has been instrumental in her personal interaction with the residents. And, and before we run out of time, bridgehouse.org is, is the website. All information can be found about the event. Is there's an admission fee? There's uh, an admission yes it's a hundred it's a fundraiser. It, yes, it's a hundred dollars a seat. Um, and you could call me at 504-821-7133. Okay. And, um, and I can just tell everybody by past experience, it is just an absolutely incredible event. It is. So we, I really hope people take advantage of this. We do. One of the real touching moments is we, we uh, have the alumni, alumni of the year that is awarded to this year. It's Michelle Duplantis. Yeah. So she will be giving, sharing her story with the crowd and is 
it's awesome. moving. It's That's awesome. awesome. Again, the website is bridgehouse.org. All the information about Bridge House, Grace House can be found on that website. Uh, the upcoming event, we have Women of Substance. And then Give NOLA Day, just real quick. Get, give NOLA Day. If you Please donate online through the Greater New Orleans Foundation, givenola.org. Yep. Select Bridge House, Grace House, a portion, of, $10 is the minimum. And uh, a portion of your donation will be matched by the, the money the Greater New Orleans Foundation has already raised. And they're, they're giving me the wrap up, but I can tell you, just from personal experience, if anybody deserves your help and support, it's definitely Bridge House, Grace House. They do an incredible job. We've got one more guest. Stay with us. We'll be right back. And welcome back to Across Louisiana on this show. You know, we always save our best guests for last, and we've done it again. Christina Lagasse is one of our very own. Christina is the communications and public affairs specialist for Cox. Christina, welcome to the show. Thank you, Steve. I'd say th thanks for taking the time to be here, but you get out of work to come to be on the show. It's a good, it's a good <laughs> afternoon. Hey, let's seriously, let's talk about uh, C2C, Connect to Compete. It's a program that Cox has been involved in now for uh, probably a couple of years, mm -hmm. and it's just, it's a wonderful way for families to take care of some discounted internet prices and the good news is you're going to tell us how we can also get a free computer. Correct. So talk about C2C a little bit about what it is and how families can get involved in that. So Connect to Compete is a nonprofit program where students who are on the free lunch program at school can sign up for internet through Cox for a severely discounted price. It's ten dollars per month and um, it's really easy to sign up. They get a free modem, free installation, and they're able to get internet in their homes to do homework, mm -hmm. apply for college, um, pretty much your essential needs you know for students. Um, so right now we're having a promotion where if you sign up for Connect to Compete, you could be eligible to get a free computer. Wow. Now, is there a deadline for signing up for the computer? So it's really first come, first serve. Okay. We've already given out about 50 of these computers. Um, we actually got the computers through a grant, a James Cox Foundation grant. Mm -hmm. and. Um, we were able to purchase computers from an organization in Baton Rouge called the CACRC. Mm -hmm. They recycle and refurbish computers, and so we, w we got 100 for New Orleans. So we've given That's 50 awesome. of those out, and so we're just waiting for some more people to sign up so we can give the okay. rest of the 50 And, and, and let, me, let me stress, uh, if, if I'm a family and I'm, I'm hearing this and seeing mm -hmm. it, of course, and I want to see if I can sign up for this, the key thing is don't call Cox. Right. Uh, there's not a number to call for Cox or anything. Right. There's a website to go to to see if there you sign up. There is a website. It's, um, we'll definitely put that on the screen. Yeah, it'll be on the screen, but it's connectedcompete.org okay. slash Cox. And if you sign up through there, you'll walk through the eligibility process and um, you'll get a code where you can, once you get the code, then you do call Cox to sign up for service. Okay. And go from well, there. Christina, I know that you've been responsible for the program. We've had a lot of families sign up for mm -hmm. this. Uh, it's great to see the families come in and get the computers. We had a giveaway a couple of weeks ago and had families come in. We've got some computers left. So on behalf of Cox, thank you for all the sure. hard work you've put toward this. Uh, you put your heart and your soul into it and that, that comes across. So this is a wonderful program. Again, that website, we're going to put it on the screen, is connecttocompete.org backslash Cox. All the information about Connect to Compete can be found on that. Please take advantage of this program. Take advantage of free computers while you still can. You've been watching Across Louisiana. My name is Steve Sawyer, and we will see you next time.